Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. We are not in the backyard garden, however, we've got a project today where we're actually going to see somebody in the backyard garden. I will show you a bit of footage of some plants and I'm going to tend to those plants by maintaining around the plant, cleaning around the plant and adding compost material for that person around the plants, okay? Now of course these are some videos you might be seeing from now on and I go to the backyard garden because I do not actually have a land of my own to plant since I'm no longer in Dominica. So I'm gonna try to see how it is that I can assist persons in backyard garden while producing videos for you guys to see the importance of backyard garden, how you can practice recycling, water conservation, and of course making compost for your backyard garden. Now here we've got a few plants in the background. I'm mainly gonna show you some very short and small or new plants. The person is starting a backyard garden and actually they have some fruit trees. So I turned it to one and I say, you know what? I'm gonna start filming all the others. So I'm gonna show you the one that I did and then I'm gonna show you all the other plants before I have taken care of them and how they will look after I've taken care of them. Now of course if you've got a backyard garden please go ahead and practice what I'll be doing today because it's quite important that you take care of your trees in your backyard garden. It's not just only about digging a hole and planting the trees. You need to actually commit yourself to actually give your plants compost material, organic material, wet them and mulch them to preserve or to conserve water and moisture in the soil. Although we are in the hurricane season which would mean that it's going to be a very wet period, right now the sun is very hot so it's very important in the Caribbean that we practice water conservation when it comes to growing our plants, especially our young fruits and vegetables. Okay, Let's go ahead and I'll show you this plant which I tended to already and then I'll show the others which I've not done as yet and at the end of the video I'll show you what it looks like after I've taken care of it. Now of course I do not have most of the equipment that I need. Pretty soon I'll start buying it of course and if you'd like to donate to our paper so that I can go ahead and purchase this of course you could make a donation the paper link is in the description. But I'm just gonna have some latex gloves um, eventually I'll try my best to buy some gloves because I decided as I told you guys I want to start filming again in June and although I'm not in Dominica my passion is back in Ghana culture and I really want to go ahead and start to promote this again and take part in it. Okay, thank you so very much for your support and for your patience on Agrosuit Backyard Garden. I know it's been a while we've not done a video, but thank you for your patience. Let's go ahead. Okay guys, so this is one of the plants, the carambola plant. I went ahead and do some cleaning around it. Now of course, um, I don't know if the camera will do any justice, but I clear up this area here. All they have plants. I don't have um, a lot of tools, so I'm using my hands for now, but it's to start. It's a good idea to start. I'm using a lot of um, shredded paper. I've used some shredded paper in this compost pile right here. Added some um, mango peeling, banana peeling, um, dashing yam peeling with the shredded paper. And after, of course, I took some soil and I top it off because eventually this is going to decompose because it's not my backyard garden and I'm not going to be here every day. That's the reason why I added some soil on the top um, to preserve some of that moisture and to um, keep that. Um, compost material or the shredded paper from flying away. So I'm going to show you some of the others right now which I'm going to tend to but this is their carambola plant right there. Okay guys so this right here is their caco plant. Um, they did pretty well here so far it looks okay however what I can see here is some bit of the root here is exposed I'm not quite sure if you can see but it is exposed here so it needs some um, topping up the soil and some topping up and some compost so guys what I'm going to do right here I'm gonna take some stone and build around it add some compost material top it up with some more soil okay so that is the caco plants we have one this one I feel is the most secure one in terms of the stone root because these stones were already established here here I just made it better even at the back it's there are rocks in embedded into the ground which are already established here on the side have rocks already established so it's like this one is well secure with the stone works um, all of them are good but this one I feel is the most secure one with the stone work okay guys so here is also another plant the golden apple as you can see it needs some attention around it so far the plant itself is doing good I must admit the plants it's doing well however it needs some um, landscaping and maintenance around it and I can understand how busy they are that they are not able to tend directly to it um, but the plant is doing pretty well I must say that I'm um, compliment to them the plant it looks healthy and okay I'm going to now show you how it is after this one right here is a golden apple tree will do very well I know it will 
love golden apple myself what i love about it is the fact that the stem is straight nice and it opens up um when it's a certain height they could go ahead and prune it for to stay one height um but what they can do also after all of these trees have grown and developed they can then create a better walkway by using the stem of the tree against um like boards or something to build a walkway but of course um in time they will consider that i guess but in the meantime looks pretty well looks decent i cannot compost to it it will look pretty good this right here is the lime tree lime tree um of course not too bad right here of course look like it was just transplanted but i want to give you a closer view of what i'm talking about right here seeing this the root is exposed so it needs some um stone work around it and then top it up with some compost and make it easier so that when they have compost material they can just dump it right in here but that is the lime tree i will show you after here's the other one this one is the lime tree lime tree the stone works the stone work look well lime tree is doing well also it's nice and green we'll add compost material to it so that it could even grow better okay guys not quite sure if you can make out this one but this is actually a sour sub tree need a lot of work around it i'm gonna get this done also today i'm gonna clean around it make it nice and presentable and allow them the opportunity to have that nice surrounding around the plant so that they could add compost another thing i might do next week or i might talk to the owner to get some tires so i could make it even easier to put some tires around it and um, perhaps show you guys again how to cut the tire better and um put it around it so it could stay around so that they could go ahead and add on that compost material keep in mind that this land is sloped so hence the reason they may have some difficulty i'm um, coming down there every day um to get um compost materials so i will work on this one and i will show you guys after what it's looking like Here is one of our best, did a lot, oh let me untie it, I did tie it with uh, a lemon grass leaf, yes, so here it is as the sour sap, um, as it grows I will um, advise them to prune it, prune it, but for now they are just letting it grow out, so my job mainly is to do the mulching to improve the stone work around it, which is what I did, so it's easier for them now to see the plant, wet the plant, add compost and mulch to it. This is the sour sap. Okay guys, this one, I'm not quite sure what is this tree. Perhaps you guys can help me identify it. Never seen it before, um, but I can see for sure it was transplanted there. Um, just by the way it is that it was transplanted. So can any of you recognize this plant? Not quite sure. It sort of looks like guava cherry, but it is not guava cherry. I will show you where they have a guava cherry tree, um, but this one is not guava cherry for sure. But I will show you how it is after I take care of it. Here is the plant I can't identify really, but just showing you. Improved it, the surrounding. So all I have to do now is add the compost to it and then wet it, wet it and um, I'll wet all the others. But this is the plant which I could not identify. I'm not quite sure if you guys could assist. Okay guys, this one is the cherry. Looks like the cherry to me. Um, need some work. Plant is looking like it is healthy, but it's needing some um, attention and some landscaping. So I'll go ahead and have this one done. Of course, this is how it looks now. And I'm gonna show you how it looks after I've gotten the work done. I've made it higher so that they could add more compost to it as it um, goes. Um, of course, this is the cherry. Remember, this one is the cherry. 
I'll show you pictures of the compost after. I just went ahead and put the paper, shredded paper here so that you could even see the outline better. Um, this one had basically had an outline but I just improved it um, with some stonework. I will add compost right here. Okay guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video showing you how I mulch or take care or landscape some fruit trees for someone. Of course, as I told you, this is not my backyard garden, so I can't give too much details on the backyard garden. I can only show you what's going on in regards to what I did. Of course, please be encouraged to start your backyard garden, guys. Remember, a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And of course, Agris Wade is out. <laughs>